it's just me hey everybody i have a special video for you guys today today is our booth reveal video we have an antique booth at the box of delights and antiques in zephyr hills florida and in this video i'm going to take you around and show you all kinds of neat things in all the vendors booths plus ours so you guys stay tuned this is a cute little booth oh i love that This piece is cool, Jamie. This salvage piece here. He can't hear me, but it's cool. For some bottles for Gabriel. There's Dr. Pepper. $10, Dr. Pepper. Gonna put them back in there. There we go. <laughs> hmm. It's like celluloid. I think these were like, yeah, little food um, picks, you know, appetizer thingies. <laughs> Love this. Shelving. I had a bunch of this stuff sold. Five dollars. I find these metal detecting. That's really neat. This is the one of the owner's booths. He gets some really neat things in here. I've bought some things for him. Like look at the doctor set. He's got it all set up. He's got keys with different price points. Lots of cool ephemera. He separates it like this. So you don't have to buy the whole book if you don't want to. And it's already cut out. Look at the shoe stretchers. I have a couple of those in my booth. The old spool. I love the architectural salvage like this piece. What else? Oh, I had one of these. I took this old sifter and I made it into um, almost like a vase and I had flowers in my kitchen I think I sold it I sell everything he's got some cool clocks the, oh wait oh and it has a little thermometer on there she's kind of cute in a creepy way because she doesn't have any eyeballs I absolutely love the fireplace screen he's got all kinds of cool stuff I love this inkwell. I bought one from him, um, a smaller one, and I put my business cards in it for my booth. Oh, look at, he's got like an old bed frame. Love this cabinet. He had two suitcases and I wanted to buy them both and I didn't grab them and I love that stool. Oh, I should have bought them because I love them for display. He's got this. I, I I look at this every time I come in here. This little thing there. Very interesting. I love that cabinet. And look at the clothes. Please don't touch these dresses. Oh my gosh, look at this. I want to touch it so badly. <laughs> the like, it's like a cloak. I'm sure you guys have the proper name for that and you'll let me know this is very like mm, 20s to 40s that one and you come over here there's another booth with some clothes then we have some like books and yearbooks and things down there and I see you <laughs> Here's his uranium display. He's got my beat. We have this cool top hat. That top hat is actually Diane's and it's from the 1800s. She got it at a yard sale. Isn't that cool? 
and look at these. Shoes. Oh my goodness. On to this. So this is one of our friend's booths as well. He sells at the flea market and he sells here. He's got some really cool things. So we buy things from him once in a while. Oh, look at the little, the little cloisonne trink box. I love his salt and peppers. I love this. The toothpick holder, St. Clair glass. Love it. Then you have some like Viking glass. Love the salt and peppers. And these, how cute would these be for fall? Love those. And he's got a flamingo back there. So this is the owner's mom's booth and she has some really cool stuff. I love these pink um, candlestick holders. Look at that. I love the turkey. I'm gonna put my turkey more, out more around fall. I have two turkeys that I've found. And then we have this over here. So they're redoing the floor. The owner, one of the owners, he, um, his previous job was, he would do um, architectural like um, rehab. He would fix up old buildings and things. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, lots of pretty stuff. That's okay. Look at this. Oh, I used to, I had the glasses to that I sold with the, like the spaghetti and it's like a rubbery feeling. We have some stretched glass here for 25, it's pretty good. And I love this fish. And we have some hen on nest and that awesome blue decanter. I'm always eyeballing that. Then we have some, um, what looks like Viking glass. The base doesn't look like it, like the typical one they use, but. Then we have, oh, I love this little hand. Isn't that cute? I guess I'll put this on the car. Okay. I cleaned it out so you can see. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. 14 for the yellow pair. Very cool. You're welcome. Do you want to be on YouTube? No. <laughs> I don't even like my picture taking. Me either. Well, I guess that'll answer Aaron's question because he was wondering if you would take a picture with me. It's scary. She said she doesn't like her picture taken, so that answers your question. You can just put a cutout. A large I had a feeling she'd say wide that. Wide cutout. Everyone wants to know what you're saying. Look at that. I love that lighter. <laughs> that would probably glow. Look at those bags. I love that. So this is this? No, this is one of the the one of the booths of the owners. Hey Jamie, we were gonna ask you. This doesn't have Gabriel's collecting soda bottles now, oh, yeah. and it doesn't have a price. Right. Aaron was gonna ask about that. I don't know if it's anything special. It's Atlanta, not. welcome. I to brought them. in a whole collection of them. Uh -huh. So that one and then the other ones in the back are just gonna be a dollar piece. Oh, well, I'll go look and see the yeah. other. Like they look like this, oh, yeah. similar. Okay, cool. Oh, look at this lamp. Jamie's gonna give me this lamp for my birthday. That's what he told me. <laughs> And then we have a new vendor here that's getting some like Pyrex and stuff. And look, look at the cute stuff. Oh my gosh, the cats. This girl is so cute. I've never seen these. Sugar Bell. We have that really cute planter. That's probably, no, it doesn't say. It looks Napco-ish, minus the glaze. These are so cute, little dessert cups. 
Is that like a metal? It is. Oh, it's like the metal cups. Neat. Donkey family. Those are always cool. And then look, she had like the birthday angels and there was November. I don't have November. I've always needed November. And they're very good pricing down here. If you guys collect these. I picked up a pair of salt and pepper shakers. I love that. If it had a pair, I'd probably consider that one. Let's go. Look, Jamie has a wall of clocks. And the little metal toys i found this guy right here while metal detecting these are made like a like a pot metal we have some lighting we have some marbles and then we have all of these look at this cool that goes with that picture the spaghetti one very cool he's got some jewelry jars here very cool. Oh, look at that. That's neat. It's 25. Okay, so now I will take you into our booth. So you walk this way. Here is our booth. We have this whole room. Look how cool. They, we have these chandeliers in here. Where they're like Art Deco type chandeliers. Very cool. So if I didn't tell you guys, this is Box of Delights and Antiques in Zephyr Hills, Florida. Um, they, they have new stuff all the time. I love this place. The pricing is so great. I just love it. So this, oh, don't mind mine, get, or Gabriel, Aaron's drinks. So we have, see like, look at our little display. Jamie's puts ours to shame, but it's so cool. Look, I put my Terminator head in here. So this is our booth right here. Right next door to Miss Diane's booth that always has killer stuff. She's where we get a lot of our really interesting pottery pieces. Pottery is one of her favorite things. So she's got, like, I love this. <laughs> I love the scene that's on here. And think i can't read it it's so small we have to write on these little tags um who it's by but that's so great and she gets she likes these like i do the little pottery faces i love this guy she's got tanala stuff she's got a gluggle jug back there She's got different glass in here. Very cool. booth back here she has another booth she uh, tell you what she has like the best stuff look at this horse planter I love the, the satin black that's on here love it I love that box $20 pretty good does it do anything no I thought maybe it was a music box look at that She's got like, she'll put cats together. See, she's got a whole cat family. She's got cool pieces. I have this right here. That's funny. Mine has a big honking chip on the top, but I have that. I would put it out around uh, Valentine's Day. The red color. Oh, I love this. It's Bruns or is it Bruns or Brins? Hold on. Yeah, Brins. Brins um, pottery. Look at all the cats. I love it. And she's got some like luminescence glass in there. That freaking pink. That is so cool. Vintage Kmart glass. 
Bird made in Italy. Oh, that is so neat. I've not seen that in here. That must be new. She's got all kinds of little decanters. I love it. I love this too, this set. I always look at it when I come in. And she's got cool shelving for her salt and pepper shakers. Oh, look, she's got a little snowy paint by number. How neat is that? I think I might grab that. <laughs> Love it. So this is another owner's booth. There's, I think, two or three um, owners. This one is really neat. Look at the tables, like the long tables that they made with all the sewing machine legs. Gosh, if I just had one pair of those legs. And then this booth, they gave them a little bit of advice and said, hey, you know, we see glass is selling pretty well in the store. So why don't you try putting some glass in? So when he'd find glass, he would put it in the booth and he's been doing pretty good and his sales have picked up. So that makes me happy for him. He's got all kinds of cool stuff. I love all the lamps. Let me go back here. I don't think I've ever picked up anything from this booth. That's actually kind of cool. What are the, oh, they're salt and pepper shakers. How neat are those? I never noticed those. So when I'm, I'm out, I'm usually attracted to the glass. And this one doesn't have a ton of glass, so I don't notice things in here. These guys are cute. Oh, they're 30. I can't resell those. Nope. <laughs> this display is really cool too. There's a younger kid that makes these pens. He hand turns all that wood. I know, I just picked those up. Those if you just picked those up, grab those because I just picked those up and I said I've never noticed those before. No, well, I wonder why. But he hand turns these pens and they're made out of wood. Doesn't Katie do stuff like that? Yep. And look, I never noticed those paperweights in there. Cool. We got some new stuff in here. And this is the owner's as well. He does currency. And we have some pretty glass up here. So this is such a cool store to be in, guys. I'm so excited that we have a booth here. Um, we have such a mix of things and such like affordable pricing. I mean, there is some really, really true antiques in here that deserve the price point. Um, but it's in general, it's just so affordable and it's so fun. Um, here's another painting. Oh, I love that. Look at that. And then that, oh, the girls, this is a new vendor. He actually bought a couple of our clocks that we picked up and he fixes them and they actually freaking work. So I really hope he does well and makes his money. Look, oh my gosh, that's awesome. All these handbags, love those. A snowy painting, you guys know I love that. I've never met this vendor, so I don't know if this booth changes too, too much. So. Look at this booth. It's so primitive and cool looking. I love this cabinet. That'd be cool for the bathroom. And they redid this dresser so nicely. If it had the drawers, hmm. I mean, it's cool like that, but if it had the drawers, I might consider it for Gabriel for his room. Cause, or I might repaint his dresser cause I really like that gray for him. Oh, they have some sewing drawers too. Theirs are a little fancier than mine. Apparently, they travel around everywhere. Um, and get things. Look at this sewing machine table. 
very cool. I have something similar. $40. Well, that's it guys. That is Box of Delights and Antiques.